Ultrasound technology gives us the opportunity to see the landmarks, uh, look where bone is, where the interspace is, get an estimated depth. All these will actually result in an easier procedure for the patient and for the provider as well, and probably even reduce complications. Regular ultrasound, it's very dependent on pattern recognition and it can become very difficult in those patients that need the ultrasound guidance the most, which is the very obese patient, because there is a lot of uh, interference with the imaging, obtaining the images, and recognizing those patterns becomes more and more difficult, whereas the Acura, with its software, has created very easy identification landmarks. I've done by now thousands of scans, and I remember this, this patient of a BMI of 63, we got in the epidural in a one shot um, after using the ultrasound. The other case to, that comes up mind is a patient had Harrington rods, and we were able to do a spinal with only one manipulation of the introducer. And these are cases where normally you will have a little harder time if you would not have the information that we obtain by using the Acura. Residents at the third year level, CA3s, they are actually now learning how to use ultrasound. Probably just like when we thought that ultrasound would never become the gold standard for central line placement, uh, and it actually ended up Dean demonstrated that the use of ultrasound decreased complications. That's probably where we are at now. My, I, I clearly believe that it will just become the standard of care just like it did for the central line placement. Um, eventually, we'll realize that having this information, this extra information for a completely blind procedure otherwise, will actually decrease complications for patients and probably decrease the amount of time that we spend doing a, an epidural, which makes us available to provide other services in the hospital. Ultrasound guidance for neuraxial anesthesia will become standard of care, regardless of when the anesthesiology society will take that decision. In my mind, anything that can decrease a complication becomes my standard of practice. Thank you.